What's up everybody, Redthorn here, celebrating two years of Redthorn's gaming. I've got a decent fight for you this evening, but it almost didn't happen due to the bidding process. However, we all know that almost only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. So as such, I've got Fortress Siege number 71 here in the game Lineage 2 Revolution. Let's go! So let's get right into it. I've got two real fights this evening. Thankfully, I was I was a little I was a little worried. I'm not gonna lie to you. The way things have been have been shaping up, no nothing last week, nothing at all. And I have I don't I can't remember the last time I went two weeks or more without having done a video. And I was really hoping that it wasn't going to happen this this weekend. Uh, due to the fact that this is, this is my two-year anniversary. And it didn't. So thank you to the two uh, real fights that are going on. One of the real fights, unfortunately, is not really a real fight. It's an overwhelmingly powerful clan versus a not-so-overwhelmingly powerful clan. But the second one, the one I will be recording, they are a little bit closer. I think at the last time that I checked, it was around 20 million or so. Well, uh, let's see what's going on here. So here at number 14, this is the one that I'm not going to be doing, okay? Here at number 14, you got Athena at 405.3, and then we flip over to the next uh, next page, and at number 23, Premier at 327. That is, that's just raw power. Now, obviously, both clans probably have mercenaries, and yeah, that's just, that's, that's not going to happen. So, here is the one I will be doing. Number 18, Celestia BR at 359.7 million combat power in totality for their clan. And they will be fighting against the number 22 here, down in under 343.6 million combat power in totality for their clan. They actually went up a, a little bit. In fact, in the last two minutes, they've gone up. So that's kind of annoying having to slip or flip through, but 359 minus 343. It's less than 20 million, at least, so that's good. And that's not insurmountable at all. Down and Under's leader for this fight is Walt Hashtag. Walt Hashtag is a 7.8 million, looks like a Phoenix Knight, a tank. Celestius BR's leader, Bale Dag RJ, who is a 8.7. Let's see what was paid. This is for an S Grey Fortress Celestius BR. Three, or I'm sorry, 255 million seven adena for the right to challenge down and under for this S Grey Fortress. That's, that's a lot, I guess, for an S Grey. I got that, or maybe that's in the middle. But let's see. Athena at 333 million, 333,334 adena. They came out of nowhere on the final bid in just Dumped a ton of Adena down for this. Athena is part of Pardo Alliance. Premier, part of Legion. Unfortunately, Legion is going to lose this one. However, Down and Under is part of the Mad Mini Me Alliance. And I'm not talking mutually assured destruction. I'm talking Mythic, Aeon, and Down and Under make up a little Mini Me Alliance. While Celestius BR is part of Legion. So Legion may lose one. And they may win one. We got four minutes and 40 seconds. Let's head into the battlefield. Now, I know I'm a little early here, and that is totally fine. You are noticing that I'm doing picture in picture. I haven't done one of these in like a year or something. Um, the reason I stopped doing it is because I had an iPhone at the time, and trying to pull a friggin' video or even a picture off of the iPhone or iOS is very difficult. It's not impossible but it's difficult. Now I have an Android phone. It is incredibly easy to pull a picture or a video off the, I just did it uh, a few hours ago just to see how hard it was going to be. It's not hard, not at all. It's like a filing file system on your, on your PC or laptop. It's crazy how easy it was to pull the video off. So maybe I'll start doing this a little bit more often. I, I don't know. It still takes a while to process a video inside of a video, otherwise known as picture-in-picture. Picture. But for this, it's a video-in-video, video, and when you're trying to process that in your in your programs, it takes five times as long, at least for me, because I'm working on a seven-year-old computer. But here we have 
down and under the defenders in the blue on the top and yeah, so let's just be our the attackers in the red will be following them they are on the bottom we know who their leaders are so i will head on down to the celestius br playground and i will see you in three minutes and 12 seconds two minutes before we begin one minute before we begin 30 seconds before we begin 10 seconds before we begin good luck to down and under five seconds before we begin and good luck to celestius br and here we go fortune siege number 71 down and under defending against celestius br by the way, I'd like to do a shout-out to my future ex-wife, Chiraki. She requested a shout-out, so there you be. Both teams getting their alter imprints, but both teams interrupted. So let's just BR, trying again. Let's just BR. 10% buff in the next three minutes, down and under, still not able to do anything. Now they're tried but interrupted. Where was the flood from Celestius BR? That's what I'm wondering. Down and under, trying again. Interrupted. Down and under, they're very active in Fortress Siege. You see them, you see them fighting a lot. Probably winning as much as they lose, but as long as they're having fun, it doesn't really matter, right? I mean, they're they're definitely having more fun than the uh, so-called the whale clans, right? Because the whale clans don't do anything but sit around with their thumbs up their butts. You never, very rarely see them fight. Down and under, interrupted. Trying again. Interrupted. And we're gonna just mosey on around the battlefield here. Down and under, keeps trying. Let's just BR is whittling away these defensive towers. But they only have 6 seconds remaining in their 10% buff. Down and under trying again. Over halfway. All by themselves here. I don't see any red. This may be it. Oh! Oh man! Interrupted at the last possible second there. That's gotta hurt. Trying again though. Down and under is... I don't... Interrupted again. 30 seconds remaining in Celestia SBR's 10% buff. And down and under. Interrupted again. There's a lot of blue here. And they're crowding around the altar imprint. And they shouldn't be doing that. They need to spread out. Let the, let the imprinter imprint. While the rest should try to stop them from coming different directions. Down and under, going for both. Interrupted on, on one. So let's, and now interrupted on their own. So let's BR try for their own and was interrupted. Trying again, interrupted. Down and under, trying interrupted. So let's BR going for down and under is interrupted. Down and under going for, Celest for Celestius BR isn't interrupted. Ah, this is going to be back and forth. That's fantastic. BR interrupted. Dao. We'll call him Dao. D-A-U, right? Dao and BR, if I remember to do that. Dao over halfway. BR over halfway. It's a race. 
And we're gonna look at it at the same time. Dow, 10% buff for the next three minutes. Same thing for BR. Boy, they are one second apart. That is phenomenal. All right, so now we're gonna see BR coming up here. They have a big head start on how much damage they've done to those towers. Looks like Dao is here in force, trying to catch up. They are meleeing around the fountain, which doesn't make any sense. Because they need to be defending and they're not doing that. Dao needs to come over here and defend either that or go on offense and help break these these towers down. They don't need to be hanging around here. Unless they have a reason for that. Which I'm sure they do. Not doing a whole heck of a lot to those towers though. This tower is about to eat it. Alright, so let's see. We got less than a minute remaining in their 10% buffs. Now, I don't have the sound on, by the way. But there goes one of the defensive towers for down and under. We got 10 seconds remaining in their 10% buff for both teams. Yes, I don't have the sound on. It's one of the reasons why I stopped doing the video and video because there was an echo I didn't realize that with this screen recorder, I could turn the sound all the way down and it still records the sound. I, I don't understand how that happens, but it's recording the game sound right now. But I always had it up so that I could hear what was going on while I was recording with the camera. So there was always this echo. Now there won't be an echo. because the camera will not pick up any sounds from the tablet. All right, both teams having issues trying to get their alter imprints. Dow, over halfway, interrupted. BR. Over halfway. Three seconds, two seconds, and 10% buff for the next three minutes for BR. What are you looking at, Zylum? Just, my cat just woke up and just like looking around all confused like she has no clue what's going on. What's up? Kete Kete! Hi. Okay, whatever. Staring at me like I'm 
I'm the bad guy or something. We are approaching the 10 minute mark and neither team has gotten through anybody's gates, but this one looks like it's about to happen, which is not looking good for Dow. Down and under. Got a 10% buff in the next three minutes. But they're having problems whittling these down. They're not really doing a whole heck of a lot. The blue team's gate has and been there goes an on spawn gate of down and under. Three seconds for BR on the Holy Artifact imprint time. Effectively giving them the win in a tie. We've got a long time before that happens though. Down and under, though. Could get a 30% buff. If they play their cards right. There's just fights all over the place. What are they fighting here for? Because they can. So BR went in, got three seconds of, of Holy Artifact imprint time. And that was that was all that all she wrote, I guess. That's all they need, right? And BR's ten percent buff is gone. The altar of wind has been reset. And BR's getting hit right now. Over halfway. Interrupted. Trying again. Interrupted. Trying again. Down and under. With 30 seconds remaining in their 10% buff. Down and under is going to have to pull back now. A little bit, maybe. The Down under 10% buff is gone. And they're already back to getting it, but VR has a head start. So if they don't interrupt them, it looks like they have done so. Both teams interrupted, and then trying again and interrupted. 17 minutes remaining in this battle. It seems like Down and Under has a lack of firepower when it comes to having that 10% buff and doing damage to the defensive towers. Down and... Uh, BR... Let's see, down and under, over halfway, BR, over halfway, down and under, two seconds, one second, 10% buff in the next three minutes. Can they go down there and stop BR? No, they cannot. 10% buff for BR for the next three minutes. They are about three or four seconds behind. Down and under. Running into walls again. And nothing. Just... BR... I think BR sees that Down and Under just can't do any damage to these uh, defensive towers. So they're not even worried about getting any more time because they know Dao can't get in there. 
they're not allowing them to get close to do damage and they simply it just doesn't look like they're doing a whole heck of a lot when they can get it up there BR got some more time just icing on the cake at this point the red team has started imprinting the holy artifact getting more time now 1442 seconds Minute and a half remaining in their 10% buffs. It just doesn't look like they're doing a whole heck of a lot. They're having a heck of a time trying to get this gate down. More time for BR. 17.6 now. And getting more time. 18.6, got a whole second there. Buffs are about to run out. 13 and a half minutes remaining in this battle. The altar of earth and printing has been reset. The altar of wind has been reset. It's just not looking good for Dao right now. BR getting their own altar. Dao getting their own now. BR over halfway. Dao interrupted. BR interrupted. BR tried for both. Still getting their own. Over halfway on their own. And 10% buff for the next three minutes for BR. BR getting down and unders now. Over but interrupted. Almost got or got to the halfway point. Trying again though. The red team has started imprinting the holy artifact. Over halfway. The red team has failed to imprint the holy Three seconds, two seconds, one second, thirty percent buff for the next two minutes and twelve seconds. This may be the straw that Breaks the camel's back here. They can make a massive push. I guess they, uh, holding him off here. Or trying to at least, finally. BR trying to get in here. There's BR's leader. Getting more time. 25.9 seconds. They went up here with very little backup. 
Oh, the backup's down here. Pounding away at this holy artifact defense tower. The meteor showers galore here. This defensive tower is just taking an absolute beating right now with that 30% buff. This defensive tower is gone. That'll give some breathing room to BR's leader. And they're already up here working on the second one. Thirty. Or let's see, 19 seconds remaining in BR's 30% buff. And they're getting more time. Ten seconds remaining before BR wins this battle. Five seconds. Oh, interrupted. Interrupted at six seconds. Now... 728, 730 kills and counting for BR versus 720 and counting for Dao. But BR is just absolutely crushing this right now. And they just got a 30% buff, but not for very long. Like they're about to lose it. The red team has started imprinting the holy artifact. The red team has failed to imprint the holy artifact. The altar of earth imprinting has been reset. And they're trying to get it back again. And, the, oh, interrupted at the last second for good interruption there by Dow. They are on the wrong side. Wrong side trying to imprint that altar. BR trying to go for that 30% buff and they got it for the next 1 minute 35 seconds. So we'll head on back up here because you know that's what they're going to do. They're going to try to do at least. go but they died now we have seven minutes remaining in this battle will down and under drag this out to the to the full 30 minutes I mean they I don't even think they've they've gotten these defensive towers down here halfway dead pumping the brakes here we are trying to win. 15 seconds. Interrupted. At the 9 second mark. Alright, I really wish we could run faster. Because I'm not going to use the waypoints because I know that I'll crash. Bottom line. These waypoints are buggy. And they can't even get these things to halfway. So, this is pretty much a done deal. No offense to the down and under. But it was a good fight. When you drag it out all 30 minutes, uh, that's a good fight. We are with 30% buff for 1 minute 5 seconds. There's a massive battle going on right here, right now. We are, or uh, down and under does not want to lose to Holy Artifact Imprint. But there's BR trying to do just that. 
Ten seconds remaining before they win this battle. Five seconds remaining. Interrupted at four seconds. Trying again. Uh, there's, just, there's simply no blue here. Obviously, they're not. Nobody here is red gemming. Ten seconds remaining before BR wins this battle. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and congratulations to Celestia BR for successfully taking the S grade fortress away from down and under. Here are your stats. Still no ranked numbers, but that was a good fight for the so-called little clans. Those fights have been a lot better than the uh, than the high power clans, and mostly because the high power clans don't do anything. Uh, and that was quick there on uh, down on the side. There are your stats. All right, Athena won, so Legion lost one, and they gained it right back. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video, and hit me up on Discord or Twitter. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you again.